Hey, 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 out there, RWC. So, uh, today, I've got a little treat for you. I'm going to show you how to properly set up your general partnership. So, uh, let's switch over to the whiteboard and I'll show you. All right, now, what you're going to want to do, this is a multi corporate structure guys this is not just setting up one company a lot of people believe it is but it's not what you're gonna do is this you're gonna set up the first company and that is your general partnership this is the one that you own okay you own well you and your wife and your mom or whatever it is a hundred percent right hundred percent now then what you're gonna do is you're gonna set up a second company this is a second LLC corporation S corp what have you uh, and it's going to be your limited partnership now now let me explain what you're going to do is all of your investors will become partners in this company when you draw up your documents to set the company up they all have uh, membership in there and so does the general partnership now this general partnership should own you know a certain percentage let's say 51 percent right we like that 51 <laughs> percent of this uh limited partnership that way they can't ever be voted out now the beauty of that is each one of these is a different investor there's a different investor all through here so how are you gonna you know manage the money and everything else depending on what you do well there you go let me uh actually you know what i'm gonna do i'm gonna use this fancy little eraser tool over here and i'm gonna erase that guy right there okay and back to the pen so what you do is you set up another company this is your operational llc okay this is the one that you actually operate your business or buy a home or whatever it is that you're doing with it right so what happens is the money that's collected here right because everybody put their money in it gets sent here okay and now that it's here it gets to operate and grow operate and grow once you've done that the distribution goes back to the limited partnership and the general partnership as it's split that folks is how you do it so I hope that was informative for you. I know that it's a lot to go through. A lot of folks think that it's just a simple little a one, two, three, set up one little uh, company and uh, you're done. When you're doing something that involves partnerships, when it involves uh, special purpose vehicles like the operational LLC that we spoke about, it does require multiple entities so that they can operate and, and are managed you know, individually. Uh, that allows you for different bank accounts so that those accounts uh, operate individually and are completely under different guidelines and operational agreements for the management team. So uh, thanks for watching. If you find this kind of information uh, helpful, hey, hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. Share it with your friends. I'll catch you on the flip side, folks.